Break the game. It's 407 C inward three and one half somersaults. Tuck 3.2. The first time I learned about Duke Hanamoku, I was nine years old and I saw this statue. It was so impressive. He was standing there with his surfboard and I thought to myself, oh my God, he looks like me. It was so inspiring to have somebody who looked like me because I was adopted. I knew that my biological father was Samoan. When I learned that Duke was also a Pacific Islander, I felt a connection with him. Duke Hanamoku was an Olympic swimmer. He qualified for three Olympic teams and won five medals. He was also the father of surfing. Knowing about Duke really shaped who I was and what I could possibly do, what my potential was. Because I was in a sport in which was predominantly dominated by Caucasians. Duke really did give me more confidence throughout my career. I figured if he could make it, I could do it. After finding out about Duke and his heritage, that really stimulated me to look further into my heritage. It really solidified why I was so attracted to the water. Being a Pacific Islander, it's an environment that I felt safe, I felt comfortable. It feels so natural to me. After the 1984 Olympic Games, I went to Honolulu and I was doing a signing and my host at the event said that your father's here. And I said, my father can't be here. He would have told me if he was coming to Honolulu. And he said, no, your birth father. It's been such an incredible journey getting to know my half-brother, my two half-sisters, and my biological father, and feel their love and compassion for me. My husband and I actually, for the past few years, every Christmas we would go to Honolulu and spend it with my family. It's just been so enriching in my life. It's so much fun, you know, when we're in Honolulu and walking by the statue of Duke, all of the things that he was able to accomplish and the pride in the community for, you know, all of us Pacific Islanders. It's so wonderful and heartwarming to have that and also feel a part of that legacy.